I know there's guys that are so amazingly gifted with technique, but if, unless they make a, a little mistake sometimes or hit a crazy vibrato or something, it doesn't speak to me. So vibrato is a, is a thing I definitely would like to talk about because there's a lot of different ways to do it. Everyone's, there's no rules, but it's, it's important. First one is the Richie Blackmore is a <laughs> It's a, kind of a fast, short vibrato. And then, you know, there's... Um, that's kind of what I, what I really like, is it's a little slower, a little bit... Um, not super wide, but a, a little slower. And the vibrato should fit the song too, because the song's like super aggressive. Something, um... Then you're not gonna go... You're not gonna go... You're gonna go more like... And make an aggressive um, vibrato. little bit of the kind of a, the way Randy would and Stevie Ray Vaughan same thing he had that really killer vibrato that was just medium and then you got guys like John Sykes always went with that really wide kind of which is cool sometimes too So if you, if you end up doing um, some kind of a, a challenge on vibrato, who's got the best or whatever, it's not really, it's more about personality. So you can't really, it's not a competition or anything, but Clapton has his, Stevie Ray has his, and, and then the newer guys have theirs. But I think the key is, is to, to kind of find your own that feels good and, and then adapt it for the song. It's very much like singing, because when, when Whitney Houston would hit a note, she wouldn't directly go, she, it would depend on the song, but she normally might hit the note first, and then add the vibrato. Or, to end the song, or, or whatever it is. But then other times you would, you would hit it straight away. That's that kind of Jeff Beck bending stuff. Where we go. Bending vibrato. Well, here's the thing. is like if you're in this key, if you're in this key, um, the question is, is can vibrato be too fast, too slow and too wide? If you're, if you're in this key and you go, then it, it, it's, I don't know. There's guys that can do that and make it sound like it works, but sometimes if you're not careful, you might get a little too wide and it doesn't, it, it sounds out of key. But it's not bad too, you know? It's kind of a wild sort of sound, you know? Okay, so basically, if you're gonna do a, a huge bend vibrato, it needs to go to the right note. So the right note. That's the note, so. That's an overbended vibrato thing, but uh, I guess that as long as you stay in key, then it's okay.
bending's a huge part of, for me, a feel. So for... So bending's big. The best way for me to show you guys what I would do for bending practice is, is some, you know, to be, to be brutally honest, there's nothing worse than when you're bending and you go, you go a little sharp or a little flat. So the idea is to practice your, your bending confidently so you get to the note that you want to get to, but it's also the correct note. So a good way from, to do that is to say start in E. <laughs> And just go from on this um, B string from the third fret, bend up to the fifth, to the. And you can double check the note by going. That's the note you want to get to. Sometimes I you'd use an open string too. So if you go too far, it sounds bad. If you go too under, that's not good either. So you want to get to. You basically are trying to go with a bend, what you would do with you if you struck the note. That's what I'm trying to get. That's what I want. So, and I really like the overbending thing um, to just give it a little. See, I, I go a little too far on it right there. There. Too far. So stuff like just practicing. Let me say this. You, you can always shred. You can always play with a lot of emotion. And you can tear somebody's heart out with your guitar. But there's also some little tricks. Or Jimi Hendrix would say, gimmicks, man, gimmicks. It's always the gimmicks. But they work, you know, people, you do them and people just go, whoa, you know. And so one of the, one of the gimmicks that I like is, is this one that I, I did it earlier. But... And with a little, with a little wah. It's, um. The old, the old uh, toggle switch thing. Dave Medichetti did it the best, but I mean, Ace Frehley did it on Kiss's live record. And I think that's the first time that some people heard it. Um, Randy used to do it. And it was just a really cool little extra thing, you know? <laughs> or well, you might make it even, you know, you might make a riff out of it, like a, you can make it into a riff or something. I think I did that actually with White Snake. But then the other gimmick 
that always goes over good is the is the behind the nut. That behind the nut thing is always good, you know. And if you had somebody else doing the toggle switch at the same time, you'd be winning. The other one that always works, and I, I got it. Some people, you know, um, think that this guy or that guy invented it, but it's been going on since the beginning of, of rock guitar, which is just the, just this power, this big. And sometimes when I'm recording and stuff, I'll use a little extra gain to really get to. toggle switch on top but um, those are just little tricks that add to if you if you if you dazzle somebody with some amazing technique um, that's awesome but then if you throw in one of those little tricks at the end as, as a little cherry on top you'll win some hearts maybe there's there's, there's little things that, that people remember they they might not if you you know, if you have the, um, the, uh, they might go, whoa, you know, that's really cool. But if you go, put your arm up, people, they, I don't know, it's something about it. It just, people remember that. Or like, Jimmy, that's the whole thing is like, is, um, some of my favorite guys, it was just, it was not just their guitar playing and, and their sound, but it was their whole, the whole package, the way that they, didn't care. They dressed how they wanted. They played how they wanted. They got feedback and they smashed guitars and did all this stuff. That to me is what's real rock and roll. I'm not saying to smash your guitar, but um, in the moment, if you're playing in front of, you know, 200,000 people and you feel it and you decide to smash the guitar, then you won me over. So because you just didn't care. You're in the moment. You just had, it had to happen.